Hey guys, welcome back. It's TKB, and we're going to be looking at another one of my replays, and it is in the Sheridan again. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, this was actually before my other one, but I forgot about this replay. This was a pretty crazy game uh, towards the end, like most are. Um, but I'm back here with Havoc again. And we're gonna go left. Because that's what you do in Sheridan's. Let's go. Oh, I automatically switch to my heat shells because I know for a fact that I'm gonna be using that most of the game. <laughs> and that is why I, I carry 18 instead of um, more APCR shells. So we're gonna go here, get a nice shot into Pika. And, yeah, I kind of predicted that because most of the lights and stuff, they always go to the corner and always have the prediction shot ready. Take a look at the right here. There's a 48 Patton and an AMX. So basically, I'm just going to sit here, try to get some shots on the 62A and the Sheridan. Oh, and the uh, Bat Chat. Get a nice one into the Bat Chat. Uh, I'm backing up here, but I didn't realize that there was an IS-7 because uh, I wasn't looking at my mini-map and it was a kind of unexpected. I pushed really far there. I'm kind of ignoring him right now because I have other teammates that are dealing with him at the moment. But can't ignore a, a 50B going for my friend here, so look at him, try to get the HE shot, but uh, I only managed to get like, I don't know, 50 damage from that. The IS-7's over there kind of backing off because his friend just got nuked. Having uh, second thoughts. 46 Patton coming up and the 62A. He gets a shot into me, but I miss him right there. That was a pretty lucky shot because I didn't have the full outline of him. That's why he's getting a little frustrated in the chat there. And there's a 46 Patton, so I need to dip. He's going to shoot my friend. And I get a missile shot into him. And it's not looking too good. I mean, there are a lot of one shots, but still, when you have that many uh, tanks on the enemy team, you kind of get um, overwhelmed. And that was that was a disappointing shot. I thought I aimed that, but maybe it went into the spaced armor. I'll have to look again. And now it is a 2v5. So just like the last video, I was saying, uh, whenever you're in this kind of situation, you want to get as much distance as possible. And, you know, kind of use your teammates as spotters for you. And that is what the Maushin's going to be doing. He's going to be, or play a big role into this game. Him just being there and soaking up the damage and uh, spotting for the targets, or spotting the other targets is helping me exponentially because I'm not getting spotted, but I can put in 560 damage shots uh, into the enemy. So we're going to finish off this 46 Patton here. Great. Now it's a 2v4. Bad shots over here, also a one shot. I'm going to try to go for the missile shot, but I think he pulls back. Yep. But there's a shared in there. So... <laughs> missile for him too. Now this was disappointing because if that would have went in I would have been screaming. Okay, so now it's a 2v3. Maoshin is still still alive there. Alright, Batchat rushes him. So I'm going to shoot a little bit early here because I know that the missile takes a little while to travel in the air and now I'm in a situation where there's an M103 on the enemy team and a Sheridan and the Sheridan is angry <laughs> I'm gonna use this hill to my advantage uh, to try to get the Sheridan out of the game but man that bounces and then he misses that shot so I'm basically just gonna play ring around the rosy with him so it's basically whoever can get the shots in right now 
I'm reloaded. I kind of back up to try to get a shot, and I do get it. I'm running away now, and I'm like, at this point, I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get 560 taken away, but no, he hits my track. Uh, I should be dead by now, but, you know, RNG. I'm gonna go over here, try to get a shot onto him, but, you know, karma. <laughs> I bounce him, and then I think he misses me there, I wasn't sure, running away, trying to get distance uh, as I was stating earlier, and now I'm going to shoot, get a shot into him, and guess what, <laughs> that happened, 1v1 now, just like the last game. I don't know exactly where the M103 is, but I'm assuming he's in the same area because he is a heavy, he is slow. Um, I'm going to go back to the area, hopefully he's looking at the other lane. Um, then, oh, I spot him on my right, so he's right there, and I'm just kind of soaking in the glory of winning this game, I guess you would say, just kind of messing with him. I was. I was pretty shocked, uh, just like the other replay I showcased. And he shoots in frustration. Or maybe he's lagging, I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Uh, go for the shot here. And unfortunately, it goes into his mantlet, and I get shot in the, in the butt. And that, that was stupid of me, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta risk it. And this is gonna be game right here. Another great game in the Sheridan, uh, using that the distance and your your allies for spotting uh, is really key to winning games. I'm gonna look at the post game stats. Awesome. So it wasn't an ace, but it was uh, a mastery class one. And then here are the other medals. I hope you enjoyed the content, and if you like it please smash the like button and subscribe.